Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We're doing our best to crack through your viewer requests and today is from Slow Hornet. It is IR signature of Dump and Burn. I think, I think the F-14 is the only plane that can dump and burn at the moment. So dump and burn means dump your fuel and put your afterburners on and then it makes a massive flame plume because it sets fire to the fuel being dumped behind you and it's for reasons of well it's literally to dump the fuel uh, to get rid of it and to burn it off so it doesn't drop in people's heads as far as i'm aware i guess the fuel dump and burn in the f14 will not work either to confuse heat seekers i mean still i'm impressed with what dcs achieves i think that was the message a bit mixed in with some other things but what it's saying essentially is can the fuel dump and burn act like a flare kind of decoy a sidewinder or something uh, an IR guided missile away from your jet. Now, I may be wrong about this, but my understanding of an air to air missile, the, the warhead, is that the missile, proximity missiles with a proximity fuse, so not all missiles have proximity fuse. Some missiles actually are designed to ram into the plane and, set and kind of blow up from the inside out. But Sidewinder is not one of those, I don't think. I think a Sidewinder and any IR missile is going to be a proximity fuse. So that means it flies until the independent fuse is set off, and it could be a radio fuse, a laser fuse. And, and, and I think that laser fuse, radio fuse, detects sidewards in omnidirection sidewards. So once that missile gets you know, alongside the aeroplane, the fuse goes off, and then the warhead goes off. And then the warhead, I think, spits out like a ring going sidewards only, if you like, in a 360-degree ring around the missile. So what I'm thinking is, if it's modelled, then fuel dump could confuse the missile enough so that it will never fully get sidewards to the aeroplane and it won't be able to set the fuse off. It's the best kind of logic I can think of how it might possibly work, like a kind of like a giant afterburner. If it comes directly from behind the missile, then it probably will still go beside the plane and set the fuse off. And I know that the fuses are independently properly modelled in DCS. They are they, they physically do independently look for the aeroplane to be beside the missile before the fuse will go off. So it's all there, well, the logic's all there, uh, so we'll just, I guess, see if it works. I really don't know what to expect, to be honest. My prediction is it's just not, even if it works, it's not far enough away from the plane, the, the fuel dump, to be able to not set the fuse off, if that makes sense. So we're always going to be in fuse radius, and if we're in fuse radius, we're pretty much in blast radius. Just follow me in my wake, I'll see, so I'm going to go fuel okay. dump, let's see if I'm dumping. I am, I'm dumping, now burner's on. Yay! Fuel dump and burn! Okay, so I'm going to pause it there, RC. So my only theory, I don't think, this is stupid, I don't think this is going to work at all, because in my memory this flame was like massive, absolutely giant, but it's only a little bit. So the only way this could possibly work, I think, is if it confused the seeker enough that it just didn't go beside me and didn't set the radio fuse off, but or the laser fuse, but clearly it's not going to work. Um, okay, RC, I guess you just fire at me and... Um, See what happens? Question mark. Try firing at me from behind, first of all. We'll try it from here, fuck. Oh, wrong button, I'll see. Hit the wrong button. Oh, please catch me up. Yeah, it's gonna catch up. It's not, it's not gonna catch up. God damn wow. it! Wow. <laughs> Far again, I'll I'm see. I'm full burn, so let me get close. This plane's too damn fast. I'm fully loaded, like, everything. God damn Tonka. Box two. Oh, oh no, it did, oh. it did blow up, it did blow up. Right, so yeah. what we'll do next is do it in a turn and see if I'm kind of... Um, so the missile's going to hit, but see if it kind of passes behind me. Again, I don't think it will work, but you never know. It all depends, I guess, on how well it's modelled. Okay, so I'm going to be turning a, a medium aspect, RC. Um, so just take a normal shot that you could kind of get in parameters. Missiles away. Oh, I can't stop him flaring, but... Oh, you're flaring. Yeah, that's my guy. It doesn't work. Hit. Yeah, I'm clearly here, aren't I? Got no... Oh, yeah, I do have damage, yeah. Um, although this is like the coolest thing in the world, going around with this awesome flame and stuff, it just clearly doesn't work. For the lols, uh, I think we'll do me again. So stand by, fire at will. Okay, Fox 2. Meow. Okay, I freeze framed it right there when it's right up my backside. And you can see the missiles, well, it, it, it's seeking me perfectly. It's clearly going to set the fuse off. And I'm about to die, stand by. Boom. Oh no, I am dead, I am dead. I'm out, I went right by you. I think I'm dead, stand by. 
Yeah, the, 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 the engines oh, engine. are gone. Oh, well, well, that's busted that myth anyway. I guess it was kind of worth a go because it looks cool, but there you go. Anything you want to add to that, RC? No, I think it's just a big heat source in the back of your yeah. plane. If anything, it actually makes you easier to hit, I think, which is kind of a yeah. bit silly. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that, and see you later.